My name is Rich Harrington. I'm a member of the product team for Skylum's Luminar, and I want to share with you some exciting news about the Luminar 3.1 update. Luminar 3.1 includes the important addition of Accent AI 2.0. This update is a free update for all current owners of Luminar. It is smarter in every way both because of the new filter and several other additions that are going to speed up your workflow. Luminar 3.1 brings the next generation of Accent AI and more, more power, more ease of use, and more possibilities. It all comes down to getting great results, and with Luminar 3, the addition of Accent AI 2.0 is a game changer. There are four new additions that will benefit all users. First is Accent AI 2.0. It's been retuned and really handles skin tones quite well. Next is an improved sync adjustments command. This makes it easy to apply the same Luminar look or your own custom recipe to multiple photos. If you shoot RAW plus JPEG pairs, it's even easier to keep your images organized in your library. And an improved sorting method makes it simpler to find the right photograph. Plus, for our Windows customers, this is a huge update. You now get the ability to import images from a memory card or a hard drive and copy them to a destination folder. If you use SmugMug, you now have the ability to post images directly. You can also customize the shortcuts area to add your favorite albums and folders for quick access. If you need to make a complex selection inside the gallery, you can choose a range of images by holding down the shift key or select individual images by clicking with the control key. This makes it easy to grab all the photos you want for a batch export or to put them in a custom album. Right in the gallery, you can now rotate images. Just use a right click or choose the image command and you can quickly rotate in 90 degree increments. You'll find an improved history when you use sync or copy and paste adjustments. With just one step in the history list, you can go back and revert to the previous state. If you use Photoshop Elements, Luminar 3 now is compatible as a plugin. And if you go to open up a new Luminar catalog, other unneeded files are simply hidden. All right, let's take a look at some of these new features and put them into action. First up is Accent AI. With Accent AI version 2, we've completely reimagined this adjustment. It makes it easier than ever to get a natural looking photo in far less time. This means better presets, quicker workflows, and in some cases, a whole new way to develop your photographs. The technology is human aware, meaning that it recognizes people in the photograph and applies adjustments selectively for a more realistic image. With Accent AI 2.0, you can make dozens of adjustments quickly done with just one slider. Now, it's well suited for portraits, but of course works on landscapes and cityscapes as well. As you see, one quick change was all that it took to make this image look far better. Accent AI 2.0 really is designed to fix several problems fast. It fixes tone, detail, exposure, depth, color, and more thanks to behind the scenes artificial intelligence. But remember, you are still in control. While the AI analyzes the images and suggests the improvements, you decide how much to apply. In less than a second, your photos can look their absolute best. I suggest that you make Accent AI your go-to filter. In fact, for many folks, it can even replace the develop step. This means that you don't have to sit there and move several sliders. Instead, with just one adjustment, you can develop your photographs to the perfect look. Let's take a look at a few examples. We have some different images here to show you. In this case, the original photograph. The previous version of Accent really did a nice job of lifting up exposure that the skin tones have gotten a little bit glossy. With Accent 2.0, the skin tones are much more natural and no hot spots. In this case, we have a really bright backlit photograph. Version 1 of Accent did a nice job of bringing out color and depth. But with version 2, the skin tones are much more natural, and the technology is able to recognize that there's a person in the photograph and adjust accordingly. The same holds true here. The original Accent AI did a great job on the scene itself, 
but made the skin tones oversaturated. Now with version 2, we have more natural looking skin tones, while the framing and the environment looks lush and deep. Here are a few more side-by-side -side comparisons. As you can see, particularly with the skin tones, colors are handled so much better. When dealing with environmental portraiture, this is going to be your go-to filter. Candids, lifestyle photographs, travel, and more will benefit from Accent AI. The new version 2 is a revolutionary adjustment that just makes things smoother and easier. Okay, let's have a look. To add images in the Luminar is simple. I'll just choose Library, Add Folder. And this allows me to reference some images that I want to regularly use. I'll choose this folder here that contains several other elements inside and click Add Folder. You'll see in just a matter of seconds, all the images are added. If I take a look here and we expand this, you'll see that everything is organized within. I have multiple folders and content here that makes it simple to find just the images I want to work with. All right, let's start with Accent 2.0. Several changes have been made to really enhance your workflow. If you used Accent AI previously, version 2 has automatically been updated. But we could take advantage of a simple workspace here, like Quick and Awesome. And you see with just one slider, how it's able to target all the colors and bring that out. Remember to combine this with our excellent Sky Enhancer, which also uses artificial intelligence for quick image improvements. Let's go to another image, and I'll switch to that quick and awesome workspace again, and this time set it to my default. There's Accent AI 2.0, and you notice it handles the shadows and colors quite well, with no glows or halos. Even dark photographs will benefit. Accent is able to find and bring out the most important details. And if for some reason you want to, you can easily duplicate the filter to use more than one instance. In this case, a little bit extra, plus some sky enhance, really brings this image to life. It's amazing how much detail Luminar can unlock. The true benefit, though, is when it comes to portraits. You'll find that Accent AI does an excellent job of preserving skin tones while enhancing the environment. As you see here, it's able to not oversaturate our subject, but still brings out important details in the background. Notice how the skin tones are not negatively affected, but the framing of the backdrop is so much nicer. Now, you could of course combine other adjustments as you see fit, but this quick and awesome workspace is a huge time saver. Thanks to the power of artificial intelligence, just two sliders were able to take this image from a little bit overexposed and kind of contrasty to so much more detail and depth. Another advantage now is the improve sync adjustments command. Whether you're working with a library or the quick edit command, it's even easier to get the results that you want. Simply adjust one image using things like our image aware filters or professionally designed luminar looks that really give you the best looking photograph. Then it's easy. Just select all the images and synchronize and it transfers to everything else. You can take advantage of the approved adjustment sync. Now select multiple photos and apply the same adjustments through syncing. Filters and looks are transferred with just one click, while image specific changes like cloning, cropping, and more are ignored. We did have syncing in the past, but the improved version is even better. It now recognizes which adjustments can be transferred cleanly between photographs and skips things like cropping or cloning that are really image specific. Let's have a look. I have a bunch of images here that I recently captured on a dive trip, and I'd like to dial in the perfect look. Let's select one of these images here. And I'm going to take advantage of some quick edits. We'll use Accent AI and a little bit of clarity. And I'm going to apply two more filters. I'll type in the word cast and choose remove color cast, which did a nice job of removing some of that underwater cast. And I'd like a slight vignette to darken the edges a bit with a gentle feather. 
and a little bit of inner light. I like that. And let's use the details enhancer here, since this was underwater photography, and a smaller sensor. And I'll bring out some of the medium and smaller details there. There's our before and our after. Now I can go back to my overall view and select the images that I want. I can choose all of them by holding down the shift key for a range or use the command or control key, depending upon platform, to grab other images that I want to affect. In any case, as you do, it's very easy to select multiple images. Then just right click and choose Adjustments, Sync Adjustments. This will quickly take that adjustment and apply it to all of the other photographs. And when you use some of the image aware filters, such as Accent AI, it's able to quickly adapt to those changes. Notice how that change was applied to the photograph. The change that I made was able to be applied across multiple images very quickly. Remember, these changes are designed to be fast and simple. Just locate an image that you want to enhance and double click. Take advantage of your own recipe or explore some of the Luminar looks. For example, let's choose the Essentials category and I'll go with the AI Image Enhancer. That looks great. Nice quick change, really brought out the color of that butterfly. And let's just finish that off with a small vignette. There we go. Now back in my library, I can choose other images that I think are similar in content and even some that aren't exactly the same. And with a click, I can just choose to sync the adjustments. It's the image that's selected in yellow, the first one that you chose that'll be used when you synchronize. The big change here is that other tools like cropping, cloning, and erase have no effect on the synchronization of adjustments. If I take a look here with the before and after, it's really done a nice job of bringing out the details in that photograph. If you shoot RAW plus JPEG, it's even easier to stay organized. Now, when you import these images into Luminar 3, it can handle them and keep them sorted properly. When you import RAW plus JPEG, you can decide which ones you see. Do you want to view just the RAW or the JPEG files for a less cluttered library? Or do you want to see both and use the JPEG as a reference while you edit? Once you're all done, the edits are independent, but remember, they can be easily synced with the command you learned previously. Let's have a look. Now, in this case here, I've brought in several images, but there's actually twice as many images in the folder. If I choose to, under RAW plus JPEG player, I can decide how we view things. Let's go ahead and sort by capture time. In this case, you'll notice that there's two of every image. That's because there's a RAW file and a JPEG. Well, sometimes we do this for backup in camera, or we want to see how the camera processed the JPEG. It might be a little bit different. Under the View menu here, it's easy to choose what I see. Typically, I work with just the RAW files and this makes it simple to see that. You'll notice in this case that fewer images are shown. I'm going to actually try Contrast Enhancer. That looks good. And what I'm going to take advantage of here is just a top and bottom lighting. Makes it simple to apply a different type of lighting at the top of the image here. Let's rotate that a little bit. And we'll pull down the top a little bit and brighten the bottom. Looks good. And let's add accent to finish this out. There we go. I like it. I'll just put that top and bottom below accent because I want to affect the order here so that the lighting is applied afterwards. Now, if I go back to the gallery view and let's punch in here, I can choose to see both for a moment. And now I have the raw file, which I can see has been edited and the in-camera JPEG. If for some reason you want to, you can always select one and then the other and take advantage of that sync adjustments command you learned about earlier. That'll quickly apply the adjustment from the RAW file directly to the JPEG. This ability for RAW plus JPEG makes it easy for you to find the images that you're looking for. You'll notice that by using the view menu, you can decide to narrow down what is shown in your library. 
This will make it a lot simpler to work with the type of files that you want to edit. Let's talk about a couple more benefits when working with the pairs. First up, attributes like ratings, picks, or color labels are going to be applied to the pair. This makes it easy that as you organize images, they stay organized. If you move a file, the files are moved as a pair. This means that moving one will move it to an album or a new folder. Now, if you are viewing RAW or JPEG only, then they're going to move as a pair to the trash. However, if you're viewing the files separately, then you have independent control. This way, if you want to clean up and remove just the JPEG files, for example, you can do so. So it really depends upon how you're viewing the files. Let's have a look. As you see here, if I mark a pick, it's applied to both of the pairs. If we go ahead here and apply a star rating, same thing, it goes through. So in this case, if I wanna go over to the JPEG file and I decide to move this one to the trash, I can do so. You'll notice that it moves, but the raw file stayed behind. On the other hand, if I was viewing these as just the raw files, and I decided to move one of these to the trash, you'll see that it moves. If we take a look here over at the trash, let's view these as separate files. In this case, the one file moved on its own. However, the pairs move together. Now I'm gonna select all these and just put these back and they are returned to my library. So let's move this to a new folder and you'll see that both of those images have moved out. If I take that there and move it, they moved as a pair. Let's go ahead and take a look at an independent file, same thing. We'll move that over. And now let's go back and look at both. And you'll notice that it did indeed move the pair of the images. So a simple way to stay organized and great for those of you who like to capture RAW plus JPEG. A small but useful change is improved sorting. When using the gallery view, it's even easier to get organized or to find that perfect image more quickly. If you use one of the sorting methods, such as color label, file size, rating, etc., a second organization method is also applied. Your images will be sorted by the first criteria and then, secondly, by the date that they were captured. This is going to make it a lot easier to stay organized. Our last option comes into play with sorting. Remember, in the upper right corner, you have different ways that you can sort your images. Let's say I took the time to rate my images. Remember, you can do this right on the image itself, applying star systems or taking advantage of picks by marking your favorites with the heart icon there for your favorites. I'll just quickly mark a few more favorites and show you how easy this is to really locate just what we want. Once I've decided on the images that I want to work with further, it's pretty simple. Let's go ahead under the buy menu here and choose to see just our picks and I'll sort descending. You'll notice that the picked images are shown first. Additionally, these images are still being sorted chronologically. So first it applied the favorite sorting, then it sorted them based upon date. This is quite useful and it makes it even faster to get to your favorite images. The goal with all these changes is that you feel comfortable trusting your editing to Luminar. We really appreciate our users who've taken the time to report some of the issues that they've been having, and we've worked hard to address this feedback. We've made hundreds of under the hood performance improvements based on this feedback. You'll find improved stability and performance along with robust catalog backups to help keep your images and edits safe. I hope you enjoy the Luminar 3.1 update. Remember, it's a free update to all Luminar 3.0 customers. And if you're a previous owner of Luminar 2018, you also qualify for that free update. Just log into the My Skylum account section on our website, and you'll find access to the software. If you're brand new, we invite you to give the software a try. You'll find a free trial on our website, as well as a 60-day money-back guarantee. Be sure to give Luminar a try and dig in to find out all of the changes that have been made to help you enjoy your photographs and get fantastic looking images.